Hi everyone, thanks for stopping by to see what I am going to be unboxing today. And today I have my Stitch Fix. And this is, I believe, I'm trying to think what number I'm up to. I think Stitch Fix number 18. And inside the box, when you open it up in the inside flap, it tells you what to do next in case you're not sure. Uh, we have our return um, envelope that goes back to USPS for anything you are not going to keep. You get a an envelope that has your style card that says, oh, hello. And I will open this up towards you. Um, I have a different stylist and a different location where my clothes are coming from this box because my location was closed and... I guess with everything that's going on. So I have a style note and then all the items in the center of the picture are the items that I have received. It gives you style tips. I will look at that um, after try on. And then here you get your invoice. And I'm just gonna open it to verify that this is number 18. Now this says 17, but it is really number 18. So my receipt, which I usually look at when um, it's time to try on everything and I'm just going to put this box on the floor and make it a little bit easier Looks like I have a pair of shoes again and these are the lucky brand Ashina cutout leather flat in taupe and let's see what these look like well, these are really cute so that's what the shoes look like Here's the bottom, so this nice rubbery bottom with the cutout, and there's a little cutout here in the in the toe. These are cute, nice neutral color, which would be good. So we'll try them on, and we'll put them to the side. I'll just put them in here, and then we'll get the bundle. And this is what my bundle looks like. So I'll give you a little sneak peek there. And we'll just get right into it. I'm always excited to see what I have. So I'm just going to take everything out and get rid of the paper so that we're not getting all the noise. So let's get rid of that. And make that go to the back. And the first item I see, but before I do this, Stitch Fix is. Um, a styling a styling service you fill out a profile you're assigned a stylist you can go back and forth with little notes um i think you can pin your pinterest board if you want or social media where this way they can get a better idea of the clothing you like there is a 20 dollars styling fee per box um, and you do receive credit that 20 dollars credit towards any item that you keep in your box if you return all the items you forfeit the 20 dollars um you have three days to decide which items you're keeping or sending back and right now they've eased up on that a little bit with, I guess, the mail service, not people not being able to get out to the post office and so forth. Um, keep all five items, you get a 25% discount and you do check out online, you give them additional feedback so they know, you know, out of the items they sent you, if there was a problem, what was, you know, this way they have a better idea for your next box. They have women's box, men's boxes and kids boxes, which is nice. I do have the style pass where I no longer pay the $20 a box. Um, I, the style pass was $49, I believe, and then you're credited that towards any item that you keep in your next box or your next two boxes if you don't use the whole credit. So that's all that, and we'll get into the first item, and this is from 41 Hawthorne, the Gracie, Gracie Tulip Detail Blouse in teal green. Let's see, so that's what this is. Let's get the tag out of the way. So it has a... Um, like a crisscross detail sleeve cap right here you can see but still short sleeve um, little keyhole front there and in the back there's a little bit of pleating I'm trying to see if this is fully lined or not there is a lining on one side probably towards the front there is a lining towards the front and this is like a silkier material this is really pretty the colors are teal burgundy white with a you know your floral design so this is really cute and this is your hemline slightly longer in the back but a rounded hemline right there so that's cute and this next item is 
from Letty and Me, and this is the Aubrey Back Detail Cardigan Purple. And this is a size large. I think the other one was a petite large. Oh, this is really cute. So, um, these look like almost three-quarter sleeve. I don't know how they'll fall on me since I have short arms. But nice sleeve, and you can see the detail at the end of the sleeve there. Just your straight down. Um, no buttons, anything like that. No pockets. I don't believe are there pockets. No. Looks like it's pretty straightforward. And then the detail is in the back. The crisscrossing down the back. And then the bottom opens up that little bit. That's really cute. I'm excited to try that on. The next thing is from Just USA. And this is the Hadid Distressed Denim Jacket in blue. And this is a large... I don't know how I feel about the distressed part or this color. I don't know if I would like it darker. So this is the denim jacket. And the distressing is around the collar, as you can see right there. I don't see any distressing on the back or on the sleeves. It just seems like it is. Here's the back. Oh, there is distressing down the front. It has the double pockets. So here you can see the additional distressing. I don't know. I'm not holding this very well today. Let's get this up. So there is just distressing um, on the front. There is stretch. This is cute. Um, I, think, I don't know if this is too light of a color, but we'll try it. You never know. I might like it. I'll not look for one, but I just don't know if this would be the one. And then the last item, a fuzzy. These are, there's your bottoms. Where is the tag? Okay. So these are the Cosmic Blue Love Clio Cargo Capri Pant in Olive, and these are a 10 Petite. Um, Cosmic Blue Love. Okay, so that's what these look like here. They have a little stretch to them, not much. So here's your front, and these have these types of like straight down pockets right here. You know, your typical fly front, zipper, and, and button. Here's the these are rolled a little bit, let me. The bottoms, the cargo style. We have the there. And then let's do this here. Here's the back. You have your flap pockets that are, are they snaps. Yes, they're snaps. Snap down in the back. And then these, I did notice you can, if you needed to roll them up any further, there are a couple settings there for your snap. Okay, I love the olive green, right? Is that what I said? They were olive. I love the coloring. Yeah, olive. They look like they might be nice. Um, hmm. Especially because if they are slightly too long still to be that style, I could take them up one notch. Okay, I'm interested to try them on, plus them the shoes. So let me um, reset everything up so that I can film the try on. And I'll be right back. Okay, I have two of the items on. I have the Lucky Brand um, flat shoes and tote, $69. I have these on. Of course, my dogs are going to bark. These are really cute. Um, they're too big. Um, so I am going to, I thought I changed my shoe size one half size down because I noticed the last couple pairs were a little big. So these will be going back, but these are really cute. Um, and they would be cute to wear in the, in the spring and the summer. Okay, so then the other item that I have on are the Cosmic Blue Love Clio Cargo Capri Pant in Olive, size 10 Petite. These are $88. These are a lot of money. These um, fit wonderfully. They're not tight in any way. Um, I think these are really cute. I don't mind the length, and I could always bring it up one more if I wanted it closer to my knee. These are so comfortable. Um, I really do like these. So I might consider these. I don't have anything like this. So I'm going to um, I'm going to put on my black dress, the one, the t-shirt dress that I'm looking for. I think I might do that for uh, a cardigan for, try the cardigan and maybe the denim jacket on, and I will try the blouse on. So we'll be right back with those. I decided to leave the cargo pants on. I think they're really comfy and I want to wear them, for, I think, for the whole thing just to make sure. Um, I have the um, 41 Hawthorne Gracie Tulip Detail Blast Teal Green and this is a large petite $54. This is really cute. I love the sleeve detail how it crisscrosses. 
but it just looks like a short sleeve. The neck detail is really cute. This is perfect. It's not like super low. I think the fit is good. I mean, it's a little bit roomy and flowy, but that's okay. And it is lined to the front. And then here's the back. Right here. Please do not mind my hair. It, it has to go off. It's just too, too long until I can get. We've been in contact with our hair um, dresser and hopefully they can open soon. But I think this is really cute. Um, I wouldn't wear them together, I don't believe. I'm going to try the cardigan on with this. I was going to put the dress on, but I figured I can just try it on with this just to see since it still is a short sleeve top, just like the tags out of the way. So this is like a, like a three quarter sleeve, real cute detail. I think it fits nice, nice and comfortable. And here's your back detail. And I think this, it's nice and lightweight. There's, it's stretchy. There's, it's very comfy. And I think this would be cute with, uh, you know, for the spring, summer. And I was looking for something to wear with that black t-shirt dress that I got that wasn't, um, that maybe was like a color like this, like a nice teals or light blues, purple, like even a pink-ish. But I think this would go nice. And I forgot how much this was already. $44. I don't think that's a bad price, but this is really cute and really comfy. So I might consider this one. And I'm going to try... Of course, my dog is right there off to the side playing with her feet at the moment. So let's um, unbutton this and try this on. I'm not sure about this, especially for the color. And I'm not a fan of distressing, really. It, it's not something... Okay, this is comfy. This is actually very comfortable. Oh, why did they have to make it so hard? I mean, easily button, cute pockets... And because this is, I do believe this is a petite, let me just check. This is uh, Hadid Distressed Denim Jacket Blue. Now this is just a large, $68. This is not a petite. But actually the sleeves are not bad. And if I wanted to, um, you know, you can put a cuff on them. If, they're, if you were, you know, cuff them twice and bring them up. I don't even know if I would have to cuff them. I kind of like them cuffed or not. So this one's cuffed and this one's not. But this is um, what it looks like. But just to be wearing, um, you know, but I, you tell me what you think of the color. I don't know if I'm a fan of the distressing. I mean, I know it's not massive distressing. Just a little bit on the pocket. And a little bit here. And then the collar has a lot of distressing, which you probably wouldn't see that much of. I don't know if you can see that much of the distressing in the back. Maybe a little bit. It is very comfortable. Has plenty of stretch. So there's nothing tight about, about it. And I kind of like the sleeve cuffed just because this, I mean, it, you can see with it just coming down on my hands, so I probably would cuff it just the once and just to give it that more of a casual look. I mean, denim jackets are casual. I just don't know if I want something in a darker color or like a mid wash instead of such a light wash. Still does have the two pockets that button, you know, the two side pockets. And I do believe there's hard, yeah, hardware on the side here. And I think, you know, not it's not tight. You can't tighten it. It's just detail. But I, this is really cute. And this is comfortable. Like, this one actually feels comfortable. A few of the others that I tried on were so stiff and so hard, they just did not feel comfortable. And that's why I was like, I don't know if I'm a denim jacket girl. But now this one is very comfy. Fits very nice. Could easily button it. Uh, probably wouldn't button it, but it would be a great addition. I don't own a jean jacket. I mean, I did years and years ago, but I don't any longer. So you tell me what you think of this color and if you think it looks okay on me. That I'm not sure of. So they are all the items that I received in my box. And let me change back into my clothes and I'll come back with what I might keep and what I know I'm sending back. See you in just a moment. Okay, I was just sitting here reading. I read the stylist note after. I like to do that after the fact and look at the pictures. I love her idea. Obviously, she picked the cardigan to wear with the black dress that I kept the last time, which is perfect. I really do love the cardigan. I like the jean jacket. I just don't know if it's too light of a color. And I guess it really isn't because it would be fine. I could put it with a lot of stuff. Um, I love the cargo pants. I love the blouse i mean i actually like the shoes but they're a size half a size too big they the size here is six and a half i know i went into 
like fashion nadine west and i know i did stitch fix but i might have done it after because i was waiting for rachel who was my original stylist and a different location and i think i might have changed it after the fact when then this um location and then this stylist was assigned and mandy did and this is mandy she did a great job i think um just as good as rachel would do so i'm happy with that so i don't know what to do the shoes are definitely got to go back because they're too they're half size too big and they were flipping right out um i don't know if for i think they were 69 dollars if they are worth exchanging it's a little bit um pricey for that i know i can get cheaper shoes or if i would prefer prefer more like um like a ked style like a flat sneaker like that so tell me what you thought of the other items because i'm liking all of them i loved the camo pants tell me what you thought of those on me i thought they fit good um and i definitely you know they're 88 dollars, but that's something that i would have for a long time i love this i think i could wear this i checked my closet and i have a pair of leggings that are more on like this tone here of the shirt um not necessarily the the purple part but more the uh, burgundy part burgundy leggings and this would be long and i tried it on with the leggings off camera obviously and it would so wearing it with leggings it made this casual but i could wear this with dress pants to jeans and um dress it up a little bit and it just would maybe depend on the shoe the other thing that i loved and i didn't get to see this in the mirror that i retried on with my black dress that i did keep as she mentioned and that's what I had in mind. And I love this. I love the detail. It is so soft and so comfortable. It's not hot in any way. So I think the detail was really cute. The slit would have been better with pockets, but I'm okay with the no pockets. So I like those three items so far. Tell me what you all, and I'm not a fan of distressing. And I always say no distressing, no distressing, no distressing. So I am a little confused as to why a jean jacket would be pulled that is distressed, but it's not horrible um tell me what you thought of the jean jacket what did it look like on me um can i pull it off it's going to be 59 this year in september i'm going to be 59 i don't know if i can still pull off a jean jacket or not i mean i don't see why i couldn't there is no distressing anywhere else on the sleeves just a little bit at the collar and down the front there tiny bit on the other pocket um tell me what you thought um of me in it I thought it was comfortable. I thought it was cute. I did look in the mirror. My five, a full size mirror, did look in the mirror, and I have yet to try one on that is this comfortable. I just don't know if I wanted like a mid tone wash that would sort of go either way. I don't have any jeans this light, and how would something like this look with a darker jean, a, a black jeans, or I mean shorts or capri? I mean capris and leggings. I mean I guess I can denim is denim. I mean it's universal, so let me those are the four items that i'm thinking of keeping the shoes are definitely going back one i think for 70 dollars that's a little bit and they're half a size too big so the stylus picks subtotal is 323 dollars the buy all discount of 25 percent would save me 80 dollars and 75 cents that subtotal is 242.25 i do have a 31 dollar credit left from my style pass um which would bring this down to 211.25 but depending on what i'm going to watch for your feedback and depending on what if i decide to keep the four items it might pay for me just to keep the shoes or to try to exchange the shoes and get a size six if that's possible so that i can at least keep the shoes and make this a five for five because i do love them i think they're so cute i could wear them with the black dress because they are a neutral they were comfortable they were not stiff I thought they were going to be stiff because of the bottom. Right now I have the little bar back in. But they if if they would have fit, I think they'd be perfect. I mean, the detailing is good. A lot of the foot is open, so it doesn't like cut your foot. I like the opening off to the side. So, and they're um they appear to be leather. Yeah, I mean, so they're nice. So, I don't know what to do. I'm going to have to do some math and see, you know, if I were to keep you know three items or four items and it's more than the 211.25 then it doesn't pay for me not to keep everything i would see then about exchanging them so you give me your opinion your ideas maybe something i tried on didn't look right and i would love to hear that from you i appreciate your honesty so let me know in the comments down below 
and that's it for my stitch fix and it says 17 here but it is um st my 18th fix i did go back and look so i appreciate you sticking to the end with me and staying through the try on and i hope everyone is doing well and i hope to see all of you in my next video bye bye now